Hello and welcome everybody. This is another tutorial for my crane and the module colonization system. The mod module colonization system. People were on it a new craft file because the old one wasn't working because of outdated mods. So I stripped it of everything but the necessary parts. We you need infernal robotics for this. With Infernal Robotics comes Tweak Scale, and that's it. You don't need any other mod. This will work just with stock and Infernal Robotics. Now let's talk about this. what I changed a little bit. I made the bases a little bit wider, so yes, it will be a little bit harder to get it into space, but there's no trouble. I tried it, and later in the video I'm going to show you guys how I did it, and it's actually fairly easy. All right. Um, other than that, it works just as my Mark 1, exceptionally well. <laughs> it has engines at the bottom, it can fly itself, it can land itself. If you want to land it on an atmospheric planet, just put some parachutes on it and you'll be good. Now, let's just deploy it here and it's always good to turn off the wheels when doing this. There we go. It kind of bounces around, but it doesn't really matter. And yeah, just roll around. Keep in mind, if you want to use this on a planet where you cannot use um, EVA suits to fly around, you will need to come up with an idea on how to put ladders on it. What you can do is just go in and change the uh, angles, how they turn, and then pretty much you can just descend the crab down to the bottom so Krubbles can get in and out. Um, most importantly, the rotators are also implemented right here, so you can roll sideways. That's why I came up with the name The Mechanical Crab. And yeah, so you can move sideways, and this is very important when trying to connect modules. But you guys have seen this before in my previous video of the Mark I Mechanical Crab. So yeah, I've set up a module right there so I can show you guys that it does work <laughs> as intended and as previously shown. But we're just gonna time warp here a little bit. And there's many ways you can change this. You can move the deployment up and down, you can change the height, you can change the grabbing arm. If it doesn't attach right away, just look that you're lined up perfectly. Then you'll see the magnetic forces will kick in anyway, like right here, and then we go and pick it up. But yeah, let's move on. People were curious and asking me how to get such a thing into space. Well, easily. If you don't use ferrum or near, then you just slap on some extra fuel and more engines and get it into space. No problem. But if you use fear or near, you need to put some procedural fairings on this. Yes, this is another mod called procedural fairings that lets you put cones around it and then it's safe and sound from the atmospheric effects that you have when trying to launch this craft. So yeah, you can just use an interstage, set it all up, and I mean you could add anything here. You can add multiple crafts, add them in there however you like. You can build big ass rockets and then send them along. There's many ways. It's a sandbox game. You guys can come up with a lot of ideas, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's just fix this here really quick. So the engine's at the bottom, and yeah, let's just go ahead and launch this. Yeah, it's it's pretty easy getting this crab, for instance, to layeth, or because you want to build a base there, sure, why not? Just bring it along, and uh, if you need more fuel to land it on a heavier uh, mass planet, such as Tylo, or um, Moho, for instance, then just bring more fuel, slap some more fuel on it. All depends on you. So yeah, let's just go ahead and launch this. With tweak scale, I was able to make this big enough and it works just fine, as you can see. I didn't really calculate fuel, but that was not the intended point of this video anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna deploy this here. Everything floats away nicely. We're just gonna decouple the node and then start up the engines of the crab itself. There we go. And thrust away. Now, if you want, you could add some RCS on this, so it gives you docking capabilities. You can even deploy it in space and add different parts in it. There's so many ways you can deal with this, and it's 
pretty easy to handle. So yeah, we even do make it into orbit with the engines on it. Right now it has about uh, 1,400 meters per second of delta V just with its own fuel and engines at the moment. But if you want more, just slap on some bigger tanks and you'll be fine. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, then once again I'm going to say the craft file will be in the description, as will the links to the different mods, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you need tutorials on any other mods or suggestions, I'm here, you can ask, and if I've got time, I'll make them for you. Until then, my name's Antilles.